want to talk a little bit about email open rates, some of the terminology, and then I'm going to give you five tips on how to increase them. If you do not have an email marketing system in place and you're curious, you've never done it before, I've got a free course for you below with 16 lessons, absolutely free. Go down, check it out, and it'll give you more details about how you can use an email marketing system and how to set it up. Right now, we're going to go over what are the different terminology. I know you keep hearing people talking about um, click rates, uh, open rates, click through rates. What does all that mean? A click rate is when you send your email to somebody's inbox and they click it. So you, you know that they've paid attention to it and they've clicked it. Open rate is when they've opened something in there. So they've opened the email and they're reading it and there's probably most likely you have something in there for them to click to open. So that would be the open rate. The click through rate is the average of them doing both. They've clicked it and they've opened it. Some people like to just know how many people clicked it, but for some reason, you know, 71 people or 71% clicked it, but then only maybe 5% opened it. What may, then you can start evaluating. What did I do? What could I change to make it so more people are clicking my link? So maybe you didn't have the link in there often enough. Maybe you didn't um, explain it well enough, what it is that you're trying to get them to open. And so that's why you want those rates to be separate to kind of um, identify which area you need to spend your time on. If the click rate itself is low, they're not even opening your email, then maybe you need to look at your subject line. Maybe that's not catching their eye and making them even click the email and it's getting lost in the shuffle. Now, when you look at analytics, sometimes people are like, what, what kind of rate should I have? I found this here where it's kind of broken down. Here's the open rate, 62.9%. So if you've got a 70% open rate, that is fantastic. I even hear people getting excited about 40%. So 70% is amazing. If you can get up in the 90s, that's phenomenal. The click rate is roughly 30%. Is You want it to be hitting up in those 20, 30, 40%. If you're only getting like 10 or 15, then you have to start asking yourself, go back and read that the subject, uh, the content of your email, and why are people not clicking it. And then of course, this is just the average. This 19% uh, is the average of how many people opened it and then how many people clicked it. So it's kind of like your overall average. And these rates right here are very, very good. But I just want to make sure you understood that. And each industry, there's different target uh, numbers that you would go for because obviously um, nonprofit industries usually get very high rates because people like to give and they obviously like to open those. Um, the construction industry is really high. Um, so go, you know, if you're looking for your industry, you might want to go do a little bit more research and see what kind of rates. But I wanted to make sure you understood what those were. Now, here are my seven tips. One, when you go into your email and start making your sequencing, you want to make sure you start using tags and listing people and segmenting them according to their interests. And I'm going to give you an example. If you're in the e-commerce industry and you're selling clothing, you want to start tagging people where they tend to buy women's clothes, children's clothes, men's clothes. And one person could have more than one tag, but then you're going to start targeting them with emails that are very, very sp specific to them. If I'm talking to a man about clothes and then talking to to somebody with children clothing, that's two totally different interests. So the easy thing to do would be to send everybody, every one of your emails, and sure, you're gonna make some hits, but you're also gonna turn some people off because they're gonna go, well, why am I getting this about children's clothing? I have no children. So the more you segment it, the more you target it, the more you make it applicable to them, you're gonna get higher rates. Um, and most of you may be in marketing. That's why you're watching my channel. So how would you segment in the marketing industry? Well, if I start talking about traffic, I use YouTube as my traffic, then I, I might not want to send information about using YouTube to somebody who really likes Instagram. Does that make sense? So when people show an interest in YouTube, I tag them. And then if I want to really talk about YouTube and some of the things I've learned and be more specific, I'm going to target the people that use YouTube. Now, sure, I might in general mention it as a way of traffic, but when I start digging in and giving more information, I'm going to target people who really care about it. Number two is optimize your subject line. 
test it. If you have 15,000 real big, huge group of people on your email list, you might take your email and come up with three different really good headings and then maybe send it to three small groups and kind of do a test. And then whichever group has the highest open rate, then send that to the masses, to the, to the larger group. And you really want to you really want to cause curiosity, something that's really going to make people want to open it. And one of the things you can do is put people's names in that subject line and kind of personalize it. I, I know that gets me every time. I The more I know, I'm, I'm into marketing. A lot of times I don't open things because I'm like, ah, oh, they just want me to, you know, they're trying to sell me something or whatever and I don't have time right now. Um, but when my name's on there, I still get, that one still gets me. I still open it. And, and I know how they put it there, but it just, it works. We we are just um, built that way that that we we hear our name or we see our name and it makes us perk up. Um, the next one is that was number three by the way. The next one is send your emails at the best time of day. Now everybody's audience is different. If you noticed when you start looking at your analytics that most people open them at night, then you might want to start sending them maybe in the early evening so that they're sitting right there in their inbox. If you're sending to people who tend to read emails during the work day, then you might want to send them out maybe after lunch or something like that and they can read them before they leave for the day. Um, or maybe early morning. Maybe people will have it sitting in their in inbox right when they start work. So you need to really um, figure out when your audience opens theirs. I tend to send mine about 3, 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm kind of going for, um, most of my people would be at work and opening their emails um, in that time frame. And finally, you want to make sure you have valuable content. So you've got them to open the email, you've got them to click some links, but you want them to stick around and read it and, and want to come back. So if you have valuable content, then they're more apt to open your email again. And I'm going to add a little bonus there. Be careful about sending too many emails. I know in the beginning you want to, um, get people to get to know you and get to like you and to trust you. But if you bombard somebody every single day with an email, then they're going to start ignoring you. Um, I had a, a marketer do that to me every single morning at nine o'clock. I had that email sitting there and it was somebody I really liked their content and I, it was valuable, but after seeing it day after day after day, I don't want to see that same person every day. And I stopped opening them and it probably, I would think other people did the same. So maybe in the beginning, you know, spend some time letting them get to know you and then start spreading them out a little bit and then decide when am I going to send it once a week, twice a week, whatever it is. And then they'll get their emails the same day, same time so that they know they can expect it. All right. So those are my tips. And hopefully, uh, if you don't have an email marketing system set up, definitely look at my course. Like I said, it's free. There is no catch. I'm not asking for your charge card or any of that. I sincerely want to help beginners um, understand all the systems that need to be in place and be able to see what they need to do without putting out a lot of money. So it's a free course, 16 lessons. Take advantage of it. All right. Have a wonderful day or evening, and I'll see you on the next video.